I've been wondering this about myself for a while. So to prove that I'm not weird for spending so much time alone I started to research why this is might be the case. Here are 22 personality traits and behaviors of people who like to be alone. 1. You're an introvert. Surprise, surprise. I'm sure you've heard of the word introvert before, or you already understand what it means. Basically, an introvert gets drained of energy when they spend time with others, whereas an extrovert gains energy. In fact, studies have suggested that introverts tend to be highly sensitive to the neurotransmitter dopamine, which fires in the brain far too often with prolonged social exposure. 2. You tend to have less energy than others. We've all met them before. The type of person that seems to have an endless supply of energy. Now I'm not talking just introvert versus extrovert here. I'm talking about basic energy supply. For you, your favorite place is a comfortable couch or chair, whereas others get energized from being active. No this doesn't mean you're not fit or you don't exercise at all. You can still exercise. You just love taking time out and sitting on the couch. It's where you feel at peace. It's where you energize yourself. And it's where you ponder your deepest thoughts. 3. When you're alone, you get to do what you want to do. When you're with other people, you don't always get to do what you want to. There's always an element of compromise. You can't always pick your favorite movie or go to your favorite restaurant when there are other people involved. And sure, every now and then it's fine to try a new restaurant that your friend recommends. But when it comes down to it, you'd rather just do what you want to do. 4. You prefer quiet time. You're at peace with your soul when you're sitting in silence. But as soon as people are around, the peace you love is gone. And it's not even the other person making noise that upsets you. It's their presence that makes you uncomfortable. It means you can't fully relax and enjoy the moment. 5. You can't stand small talk. We've all been there. How are you? Great weather today. Arg, such a waste of time. For you, small talk is meaningless and superficial. You don't get to know someone for who they truly are. Instead, the questions and answers lack so much meaning that it doesn't need to be said. 6. You do your best work alone. You are much more productive when you're alone in your office than when others are near you. This is because it's hard for you to not get distracted when other people are around you. People talking, random questions while you're working, the sounds of people chewing their food around you. It irks you to your core and it can really upset your workflow. 7. You don't gossip or engage in drama. Gossiping, talking about people behind their back, one-upping people to make yourself look better. That's just not your style. In your mind, people spend way too much time on these toxic behaviors. It's just wasted energy. For you, it doesn't even make you feel good. 8. You are emotionally independent. You don't have a strong desire to be around people all the time. You also don't rely on people to give you validation and make you feel better. You are your own source of happiness. You also consider yourself a balanced person. Your highs aren't as high as other people and your lows aren't as low. 9. You find it hard to deal with people's emotional issues. Even though you're emotionally independent, you actually find helping others with their emotional struggles quite challenging. This is most likely because you have strong empathy and you can feel the pain another person is feeling. 10. You're quite content with your life. You're perfectly happy with how your life's going and where you're at. You don't need to constantly see people and arrange nights out to feel better about yourself. You accept yourself for who you are and you're happy to spend time alone doing what you want to do.